In this video I'm going to show you how to create a drop-down menu in Jetpack Compose as presented in the video above, so let's get started. So I have this new empty Android project and um, I'm going to start by removing this. We can uh, rename this to drop down. We can also remove those two parameters so and so and uh, we're gonna start off by creating a variable that is a list of the items we want in the drop down so I'm going to just name this list and it's a list of and I'm just gonna have a couple of strings let's just write one two three uh, let's see and I did a mistake here so you do one two three four and five is probably enough so I'm gonna start with um, just making a column here and add some modifiers I want the modifier equals modif modifier dot fill max width so it takes up the whole screen uh, horizontally and uh, so I want to do is some bit of padding so it doesn't touch the corners. So let's do horizontal padding, maybe eight. Uh, import that. And then we can also do a horizontal alignment. Because alignment horizontally, so it's in the middle of the screen. Uh, like so. And we're going to start off by adding a exposed drop down menu box. This is going to be the box. We're gonna have all our things in that's gonna control like the popping up of the thing and we need to import opt-in for the ma Xperial material free API and you can see here we need two there's two things we need to fill in here so we have the expanded and expanded change so what happens when you expand the drop down and when you collapse it so we need a variable for that we're gonna create a var is expanded by remember and uh, then we're going to do curly brackets and we're going to write mutable state off and just false so it can only have uh, uh, booleans inside it and we're going to import these two and by writing by remember we will instantly get the value of this and you need to import some operators I did it three times to get it to work so don't forget that so the expand if it the expanded equals is expanded and the on expand change we are going to just write that it's going to be the opposite so expand is expanded we need to write some curly brackets here so we're gonna write is expanded equals is not is expanded so if it's expanded it's going to be not be it and etc so it's going to be the opposite of what it is and uh, Inside here, we're going to create a normal text field and we're going to set uh, the value equal to the current value. So we're going to create a variable for that under here. And we're going to say selected choice, perhaps. Selected text sounds a bit better. I'm going to write by and remember so we can get the value. So every time the value in one of these change, we will rewrite the, the composables here. If we don't do this, this won't update depending on the state of these two, but that's what we wanna, want to happen. So if this changes, we want this to repaint itself. And the same if this won't change, we want to repaint, for example, the text uh, where we're going to display the currently selected one. So uh, let's do var selected text by remember and mutable state off and we will just say list uh, list zero like so and uh, we probably just need to import a few things let's see do, 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 do. So var select text by remember mutable state off uh, list zero it looks correct I wrote this name mutable state of like so 
so the value of the text field is going to be the selected value like so and value on change we don't want to do anything here because this is going to be a read only you're not going to be able to change the value here manually and we can fix that by writing read only equals true and can add some trailing icons so what this does is we add some pile uh, icon that is a uh, is the just the icon showing if it's dropped if it's collapsed or if it's expanded and we can write exposed drop down menu defaults dot trailing icon so this is just the default icon and here expanded equals ex is expanded so it's going to change the icon depending on the state of it here um, like so and we're also going to add a modifier here which is important and it's modifier dot menu anchor this this one is a bit special you can read more of it if you hover it says should be applied to text field or outline text field placed inside the, sc the scope it's responsible for properly anchoring that exposed drop menu handling semantics for the comment and requesting focus so it's a bit special one there uh, like so and then uh, underneath this one we're going to have a exposed drop menu and expanded is is expanded and when you dismiss this, so this is the drop down menu, the actual drop down menu. So when you dismiss this one, you want to do is expanded equals false. So when you remove the drop down, it's not a drop down, it's not drop down anymore. And then for each uh, for each item in our list, we want to write a drop down menu item like so. Uh, and the text is going to be the you can see here that we get a index here and we also get on text like so so the text is going to be a text and the text here inside here is just going to be the text and it import this composable like so let's clean this up a bit and when you click on this, we want to set that the selected text equals uh, the number we're currently clicking on. And we're going to use the index that we get from this. So if I click on number three, we're going to set the number three as the current selected one. And also when we click on an item, we want to dismiss the drop down. So is expanded equals false. And then we're also going to do content padding let's see if i can write this correct like here content padding equals and we're gonna use a default one here exposed default exposed drop menu defaults dot item content padding which is just some standard padding that they use here and uh, underneath this let's see inside the column here we want to just have a text that the text is equal to currently selected and do the selected text and we can fix this like so and then uh, we try to run this and like so we have a drop down if we click on it, we can see we have our options in the list. One, two, three, four, five. If I click on two, you can see the text down here is changed to two. And the text here on the value is also changed to that. And we cannot write or do anything inside it because it's read only. And that's about it. Uh, so thank you for watching. Please hit the like button and uh, perhaps subscribe if you don't. Uh, thank you very much. Bye-bye.